All right, we have got a Dragon's Lair 2 cabinet here. This is, I think you could probably tell this is a project. This is not a complete working Dragon's Lair 2, but it was when it was born. And actually the artwork is still underneath this blue paint. Um, you can see it peeking out there, which means that you can, um, you probably don't even need to buy side art for this. When you store it, you can use like that citrus, citrus something or other. Um, yeah, you get it at Home Depot, S orange something. I don't know, Google it. But yeah, you just brush it on with a brush and let it sit there for a few minutes and then you can scrape with a gently with a razor blade and you'll peel that paint right off. Then you'll have your Dragon's Lair 2 artwork. Control panel's gonna be a little t trickier because there's a giant hole cut in it. Um, this game was a primal rage at one point. I'm sure you guys can all tell from this. And then it was also a golden tea after that. And that's why they cut out this giant square so, and that's probably why they also put the bill acceptor on because Golden Tea made so much money that people, they needed a faster way to get the money into it. This cabinet uh, is a great, would also be a great just JAMA cabinet for you to use for swapping boards because it's got this front access door that you can, it's hard to open. Oh! Well, the latch is, just, uh, not the latch is very tight needs loosened but yeah you take that door off and then you got this nice little drawer the old jamma harness you just swap in whatever jamma game you want to play turn the game on and boom Let's see if i can get that back there we go oh i was pulling it in the wrong direction that's why it was so hard it rotates it doesn't pull see the steel braces this is actually a steel frame around this uh, the cabinet is complete, other than the glass that uh, goes over the marquee area and the uh, the uh, uh, marquee top bracket is missing. Okay. What about the light fixture? The wires for it just fell down in there. They're down in there, though. It's it's missing. Okay. All right. Are the speakers here that are part of this? Speaker. They're in there, but they're, oh, okay. oh, they're, they're just not attached. A, the uh, speaker as assembly, um, there it's like on a big panel of wood. That's from oh, okay. a different Leyland cabinet, so the speakers aren't hooked up right now. Oh, okay. Um, here's in the back. We do have a back door here. Is this this is the right back door, right? Yeah. Yes, it, it, it's a little bit swollen uh, because it was off the cabinet. So oh, it needs, and it, like shaved down a little bit to fit on there, right? Oh, okay. The door got wet, but the cabinet did not. It's got some good handles. Here's the little tag that says it was a dragon's lair for anyone who doubts me. DDL. Um, it's got a Wells 7000 tube and frame, no chassis. The chassis you can get on eBay, I'm sure, pretty cheap. Tube's been tested and it's good. This is um, the NTSC converter board that converts the RGB signal. Um, that hasn't been tested, but I've never heard of one going bad. There's the ISO. Um, and this is where the Sony LDP 1450 would sit. If you were going to use the original player, I think you could probably use Dexter on DL2. That's probably what you want to do. Although 1450s are still out there and they're usually still working. So um the power supply is working by the way power supply is working by the way from what i have heard uh power switch works yep wow tested working power switch looks like it was operated as recently as 1993 that's good so there you go Laser game right here. Tell your uh, friends and neighbors.